the Food and Drug Administration has proposed a ban on artificial trans fats. Also called partially hydrogenated oil, trans fat is commonly found in food like french fries, pizza dough, pie crust, and cookies. Trans fat is created by adding hydrogen to vegetable oil. Products with trans fat have a longer shelf life and are cheaper to produce. The FDA proposed the ban due to the health concerns associated with consuming trans fat. What trans fats does in regards to cholesterol is that it actually increases LDL, which is the bad cholesterol, and uh, decreases HDL, which is the good cholesterol. Darling said oils without trans fat are a relatively healthier option because they only affect one type of cholesterol. They won't necessarily uh, inc or decrease high HDL, which we it considered is the good thing. The American Heart Association says high levels of bad cholesterol lead to an increased risk of heart attack, stroke, and type 2 diabetes. At OCU, officials make a special effort to keep trans fats out of the food served in the calf. All of our oils, including our fryer oil, is all, all has zero trans fat. All of our baked goods have zero trans fat. Some salad dressing in the calf still contains trans fat. Howell said this is because trans fat free products are more expensive and harder to find. If you're not looking and you just go, oh, there's the cheapest one, let me get that, you're going to get something that has a lot of trans fat and a lot of preservatives, which is not good either. The FDA's proposal is now up for 60 days of public comment to determine how long it will take manufacturers to reformulate products. After that time, the FDA will eliminate trans fat from the generally safe-to-eat category. Maddie Alexander, Media OCU.